Koholoim La Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai Bahashim Rakakwadash. What I just said was all praises to the Most High God Yahweh Bahashim, which means in the name of Yahweh Shai, ignorantly called Jesus Christ, in the name of Rakakwadash, which is the Holy Spirit that comforts us. It's getting cold out here. What are we to do? And the point of this lesson is mainly about going out on the highways and byways because that's what the Lord commanded the men, his men that he set up to teach that are able body to do, to do, especially during these times. And we know that we're supposed to be instant in season and out of season. And that, that means whether it's cold or hot. But of course, you must use common sense, though. We're not saying be out there in a blizzard to the point you can't even read your sword. Talking about the Bible. Or in the rain, when it's raining so hard that, the, that, your, that your Bible or your phone gets soaking wet. <laughs> And you can't even keep your umbrella intact. But first scripture I'm going to grab is Ecclesiastes 12, verse 13. It reads, let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai and keep his commandments. For this is the whole duty of man. That's man's whole duty. And that includes you women as well. And when I'm talking about us, I'm talking about our people who the laws were written for in the Bible, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and the Israelite foreigners that look like the other nations because we were scattered around the world due to our disobedience. This is this Bible were, was written for us. The laws were given to us, the Israelites, from the chosen sea line of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. So as of right now, we ought to rehearse the righteous acts because we're in captivity. And we can't keep all the laws perfect until our Lord Yahweh Shah returns to destroy this wicked kingdom and establish our kingdom of everlasting righteousness. Because as is written in um, Job 9 and 24, the earth was given into the hands of the wicked. And that wicked is the wicked that the Bible speaks of is Esau Edom, the so-called white man. They are the descendants of Esau, Edom. And when the Bible talks about the wicked, it's talking about them because it's three classifications of people. The sons of God, which is Yasharala in the Hebrew. That means in, in English is Israel. So we're the sons of God and it's the sons of men. And then there's the sons of the wicked. But... I'm going to go from there to John chapter 14 and verse 15. This Yahweh, Yahweh Shah speaking. It reads, ye love me, If ye love me, keep my commandments. And what did he tell Peter to do? I'm going to go to it. John chapter 21. And I'm going to start at verse 15 and end at 17. It reads, So when they had dined, Yahweh Shah said unto to Simon Peter, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me more than these? He said unto him, Yeah, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. He said unto him, Feed my lambs. He said to him again the second time, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? He said unto him, Yeah, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. He said unto him, Feed my sheep. He said unto him the third time, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? Peter was grieved because he said unto him the third time, Lovest thou me? And he said unto him, Lord, thou knowest all things. Thou knowest that I love thee. Yahweh Shai said unto him, Feed my sheep. So Yahweh Shai said, If you love him, feed his sheep. And the way to do that is, Basically, preaching his word. That's one way to do it. Showing brotherly love. And keeping his commandments, like he said. 
gonna go from there to Romans chapter 12. This was Apostle Paul. Speaking during this time, speaking to in Rome, to the Romans. And what did he say? Romans chapter 12, and I'm going to start at verse 1. It reads, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of Yahweh Shem Yahweh that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, wholly acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. So yeah, we must present our bodies as a living sacrifice. And that one thing, to do, one way to do that is to go out in these, on these highways and byways, whether it be cold or hot. Because as we know, these devils are going to come down with great wrath because he know that he has a short time and us putting our life on the line for Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai is presenting our bodies as a living sacrifice whether we are sacrificing our time on the highways and the byways or sacrificing our time doing these lessons or helping out the, the body etc I'm going to go from there to Matthew chapter 22 and verse 9 it reads Go, this is Yahweh Shah speaking. It reads, Go ye therefore into the highways, and as, as many ye shall find, bid to the merch. Because this is the merch. Because Israel is basically the bride, and Yahweh Shah is the bridegroom. So we must bid as many that we shall find to come to the merch. But as we know, only the one third is going to basically receive this word. But we're still supposed to do the work and give diligence to make our calling and election sure. So. As many as we should find to come to this merge, when our Lord Yahweh Shai returns, when the Heavenly Father Yahweh gives him to go to take the kingdom, that's gonna be who's gonna be in the merge. And we're trying to be basically perfect for our Lord Yahweh Shai. When he returns, that's why we, like I said, we rehearsing the righteous acts. I'm gonna go from there to Second Timothy chapter two and, and verse no second Timothy chapter four and verse I'm gonna grab verse two. I'm gonna start at verse two. It reads Preach the word, be instant in season, out of season, reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. And as you see, it said, preach the word, be instant, in season and out of season. So that's saying whether it's the weather is fair and the, or whether the weather is harsh, you must preach the word. I'm going to grab verse 3. For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, but after their own dust shall they heap to themselves teachers having itching ears. Yeah, because our people like, a lot of our people like to hear smooth things. They don't want to hear the 100% truth, but... From the elders and apostles, great millstone on down to the people that teach us the same likewise doctrine, we're gonna give you the whole truth, the whole road. Because like the Heavenly Father said, we must eat the whole road. And that's talking about the whole Bible, the old testament and the new testament. And that's why we must give diligence to make our calling and action sure because. If you want the Lord to keep you from the hour of temptation that's going to come to try us, basically that karagma that they're going to want to insert in your hand or your forehead, how do you expect the Lord to be there to the, deliver you from that when you done, didn't do anything to show that you love him? Even though we know that the Lord will have mercy on who he chooses to have mercy on, but who wants to take the chance of not giving their all for salvation, hoping for salvation. That's why we're the hopeful elect, because we don't know.
because it's already written from the foundation of the earth as it is written in Ephesians chapter 1 and verse 4. I'm going to grab it. Ephesians chapter 1 and verse 4 it reads, According as he have chosen us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and without blame before him in love, having predestinated us unto the adoption of the children by Yahweh Shah Mashiach to himself according to the good pleasure of his will. So yeah, two-thirds of our people are going to be destroyed because they're not going to rehearse the righteous acts. They're not going to repent. They're not going to seek the Lord while he may be found. They're not going to show that they are sorry for the sins that we committed in our past generation and this generation and ask for forgiveness from the Lord. But like I said, it's starting to get cold, but we still ought to go out and preach this word in season and out of season. If your how about Shemri Shai allows the spirit on you to do so in your able body to show your love and appreciation for what he did for us, sacrificing himself on the cross, well, being sacrificed, Yahweh Shai being sacrificed on the cross for our sins, the nation of Israel. But that's all I got. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. I also want to give a double honors to the apostles and elders, the great millstone, teaching rule well with truth and sincerity, and salutations to the hopeful elect. Shalom.